<laughs> Congratulations on the award in the conference. Uh, becoming a, just a habit for you, huh? I mean, you know, I just go out there, do what my foot asked me to do, play my hardest, and reward me. Is it something you uh, try not to pay too much attention to, or do you, uh, do you take that in and appreciate it? I mean, I never really pay attention to it. Um, I never really know, the, know when I get it unless somebody tells me. So, I mean, it's overwhelming to hear, hear about it because I always dreamt of coming here at the highest level and competing very well. Um, so, to be getting that reward is really showing up. The more just been on it. You've got a big test in uh, Teske in Michigan. <clears throat> what do you know about him and what are you anticipating? I know he's a really good player, um, really good five man that can run the floor and shoot, shoot the ball really well. Um, I just got to do, stick to my assignment, do what my coach tells me to do, and it should be all right. Would that be your first time going against a player of his size? It's rough, just hit his length and what he brings. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, he's, really, he's a really good, good player. Like, he plays five, he can shoot the ball really well, so that's a big challenge for me. I have to come out compete really hard. You had a pretty good game against Smith. Uh, against, did that give you any confidence? I mean, he's probably the biggest person you've seen to date in college. Did that help you at all? I'm, I'm a really confident player, so I had confidence going into that game. Um, you know, I, like I said before, you know, once you stick to the stick to the assignments, do what you're told, good things happen. Is it hard for you not to be out there the last couple minutes of that game? Yeah, really hard. What did you do? Got to play without fouling. Got to foul trouble. Pushed me in the right decision, taking me out. And all the guys had a really good chemistry going on, so we just trusted it. Does that just go into just learning to play defense at this level when it comes to not fouling in those types of situations? Learning yeah. where you could feel people around, around the rim and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm a really physical player, so I just got to realize what's legal and what's not. So sometimes I make a play which I think to myself is not it's legal, but it turns out not to be. So I just have to lock in and focus on film, watch more film, listen to what my coaches tell me. It's been the mindset of the team after that loss coming into a big game against Michigan. Um, let's do the same thing that we did last time, preparing for that game. You know, we had a really good few days preparing for that um, Maryland game, and yeah, that's, that's going in there competing at a high level and losing a really tough game. So we just did the same thing. We came in prepared to play, work hard every day for the past two days, and I think we're ready. At what point in that Maryland game do you feel like you guys just started to lose momentum? I never really lost my momentum to me. Um, what I saw was the guys not making shots. You know, we're not perfect, so um, our guards wasn't making shots, and we not making shots. So that's just what happened. You know, we start, we start missing, they start making the shots. Basketball was a position in this game. So, like, guys come out, they come here, and they come out, they get my better. What does it take to withstand a run like that? Because I mean, you know they're going to make a run. They're the number three team in the country. But what does it take to withstand that and just come out, come out of that success? Like I said before, you know, like I try to. Reiterate this and tell myself every time I'm just sticking to the assignment, do what you're told. Uh, each of us got individual assignments, and we just got to stick to the assignment, hold them down, do a coach tell because obviously it took a long time to play in the sport. So just do what we're told and go out there and compete. Coaches praise your basketball IQ. What do you think has been your biggest growth since the beginning of the season? Um, just my ability to listen. Um, not just ignorant, you know, listen, go and not do what Coach tells me to do. Try to, get, try to get better every day, you know, compete with these guys every day. They push me really hard to get better, so that's good mark. Are you recognizing things now that you weren't recognizing at the beginning of the year? Yeah, definitely. You know, just the second is just time coming together. Kofi, was that kind of a, you mentioned you wanted to obviously be out there doing the final stretch of that game. Is that kind of a wake up call to you to play? differently during the game so you're not in foul trouble when, when it comes down to that? Not really a wake up call, I'm still playing aggressive. It's just like being mindful and knowing time and place, you know. I can't come into silly fouls and turn my back, you know, like keep leaving me and come into silly fouls and really help me. Okay, I know you guys said that there was, there was a big change in practice leading up to the Miami game and following that one. Any change coming off the, the Maryland game or are other things just as, uh, just as intense? Not really. Our coach probably played really well. We played hard, you know, tenaciousness. Um, we just have to do that like over and over again. Each game, come out, give us give it an all. And basketball is the game. You'll never know who when the ball is around. So just come out, play your hardest. You think it's going to mean for this team when you guys get over that hump and close out a big game like that? What would you think confidence-wise they'll do for you guys? Yeah, it will definitely push us over the edge. Um, we're a really good team. Uh, we have really good players. And if we just come together like we did in that Maryland game, we could be a really great team. How important has Trent been in the offensive game? playing that role that he is kind of locked up. 
I'm, I call Trent, like every time I call him, like, I see him in front of my machine. I think he's a machine, like, he's just an energy guy that's going to come, he's going to play his hardest on defense, and he can shoot the ball really, level, high, um, really good at a high level, and he's just been great for us like, lately, so I just want to continue doing that, keep pushing us, he's been a great leader too, he stepped up, he took on that role, so I just want to keep doing what he's doing. Keep pushing us to get us away. I mean, to see him you know, not force things and just do what he does, does that kind of give you an idea of like, how to play? Yeah, I mean, it motivates me because when I see guys like learning and becoming better each and every day, it motivates me to get better. So every time I see him do it, the right job, everybody makes a mistake, but Trent, he tries to correct his mistakes. He comes in much film and he's really dedicated. So I praise him for that. Let's go. Thanks, Kobe.